What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from MJ Tech, today with another Smart Door Lock unboxing, assembly and review. We are talking about the Elemake. This product was sent to me directly from Elemake. They reached out to me and said, hey Jay, you want to try our door lock? And I said, of course, as it has impressive features, at least on paper, this one can be unlocked using four different methods. You have the fingerprint, the keypad, you can use the key itself or the application on your smartphone. Keep in mind that this one is a Bluetooth powered uh, door lock, but if you have the Wi-Fi gateway in which can be purchased separately, then you can have it unlocked via Wi-Fi as well using smart devices in your home, which is really, really neat. Now this door lock is not intended for outdoor use, meaning that it doesn't have any IP ratings. And so if you use this, let's say for your main entrance, it may not last as long depending on how much rain or weather conditions you get at that particular location. So for this reason, guys, I will definitely recommend this for interior use, like a room, uh, something that you need to keep uh, private or secured then this is a great way to do it. As you can tell, this is more like the interior type of uh, door lock. It doesn't have that uh, deadbolt style that we see usually on exterior doors. I do have another smart door lock right now installed on my main door. And so, yeah, this is, like I said, guys, quite exciting. It comes in different colors or two colors. It has, I believe, brushed metal or uh, yes, it is brushed metal, like a gray color, and then you have the black color here. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what comes inside, guys. I already took it out. I made sure I tested it before completing this video, as I have been disappointed with previous products in the past, so I needed to make sure that this was gonna be a great uh, product to review. And yes, it is. It came with some gloves okay which i didn't use by the way to install this door lock all you need is a phillips screwdriver yes you heard that correctly all you need for a standard installation is a phillips screwdriver and very little skills so that's great it comes with a manual here now the manual you need to read because it does come with a QR code letting you know what app to install and whatnot so you do need this and so we're just going to put it aside since I know how to do it. Everything I will show you here, guys, is on the manuals as well. So I'll try to simplify this the best way possible. It takes about, about 8, 10 minutes to install entirely. It is that simple. And it comes all put together as one piece, as you guys can observe. So everything that you need here, like the bolt right here, you have the knobs, everything comes already here, including the screws, except for the screws for this outer cap, which comes out. But we're gonna talk about this here in just a second. Inside here, we have the little mounting plate, okay, for your bolt so that it goes in. Now, if your door has one already, most likely it'll still fit. So in my case, I won't need this, but it does come also with a inner plastic as well. But like I said, in my case, I have one that fits uh, this door lock, so I won't need it. That's very cool. And we have here some screws that are needed for installation, some basic screws. And we get the keys and the USB cable. Now this USB cable is that in the event that you run out of battery for some reason, then you can plug it in directly here, then connect this to let's say like a battery bank or a charger if you have a, an extension cord or whatever. Then you can plug this to a regular five volt uh, charger, plug it in here, and then that way you can unlock it electronically or just simply use the key and you can do so th that way as well. So let's go ahead and take this apart real quick and I'll show you guys here using my little dummy door that I have right here. I'll show you how to get it properly installed. So before we get started, make sure you have everything you will need for this installation, like your four AA batteries, the manuals, make sure you have everything that came with the lock already set to go. And don't forget that one Phillips screwdriver. So to get started, all we have to do is take this apart. To take it apart, there's two Phillips screws located on the inner side. After removing the initial cap, you have to take those two bolts, otherwise this whole thing will not come loose. So there we go, we just got one removed. We're working on the second one. Okay, so here we have the first knob. Make sure that this wire doesn't get tangled up because you can easily break it. 
Just be very gentle with this. Now we remove the bolt and the other side of the nub. Now this all comes as one piece, the side with the fingerprint uh, scanner. Uh, here towards the bottom, like I said before, we have the keyhole. We have the micro USB port as well. And yeah, everything is one piece, guys. All right, so here we have this dummy door. And so to get this installed is quite simple. Let's assume that you already took apart the old door lock. Well, this is what you guys will see. And to get it started, you have the bolt. This will go on here first. Now, depending on which direction your door closes, this curve will be pointing towards the side that your door locks in. So if it's this way, then the curve will be pointing this way. And if it's the opposite way, then the curve will be pointing that way, okay? So in this case, we're gonna leave it just like this as it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna have several different screws. You're gonna have two screws for the mounting plate that goes on the frame of your door and you're gonna have similar ones for the deadbolt in which they look like this. So now you grab your Phillips screwdriver, like so, and simply bolt on these two screws. There you go, we got the first one done. Assuming this is the outside and that this is the inside, the part with the fingerprint component and all the other major components will go on this side of the door. So you just run your wire through the deadbolt, through the middle side, and then just push the wire. Make sure nothing gets pinched and just insert it in like so. And then this is how it will look from the other side. While holding one side, grab your other knob, which is this piece right here and we will simply run the wire through there we go and boom now let's make sure that we get this inserted correctly there we go and now we install the two screws that we removed earlier let's make sure we get them on there grab your Phillip it's always easier to do one side first and to then try the other side. Now let's do the other bolt. Next step is to hook up the four AA batteries that I mentioned before. Now, if you look in here, we have positive, negative, positive, and then negative. So that means that the positive side has to be sticking out like so. The negative has to be pointing out like this as well and so on and so forth. We have another negative and the positive. Now we grab the last plate, which is this right here. And if you look closely, it has these two lines where the last screws go installed to. They have like a little extra piece of plastic pointing towards the bottom. That's the side where this is gonna get installed. So it'll be like this basically. So now let's go ahead and Plug in the wire, make sure it goes all the way in. And now we insert here the plate. Now this one is spring powered, so it's a little harder to mount the screw, but it is doable. Just hold it with one hand. There we go. Make sure you get one through. And then we get the other one through. There we go. And this, by the way, is a reset button in case you ever, let's say, change this door lock and you want to give it to someone or sell it, then you have to reset it. You can also do it on the application itself. And now we test here for power. There we go. We do have power on the other side. It is time to go to the app and do the rest of the setup. Now with the smart door lock completely set up and ready to go, make sure that you give it a quick test by either tapping here on the numeric pad and that everything comes on. If it does come on, then you are ready to go. So you go back here into your smartphone and download this application, which is called Smart Life. And it has that blue house or uh, house icon with a little uh, Wi-Fi logo on the upper right. Then you open it, you have to sign in at first if you haven't done so or log in. In my case, I already signed up for this. And right here, you guys can see that it is already prompting me 
to add the Yi lock. That's is the name of this particular lock. And by the way, guys, this is a generic product with a lot of rebranding. So you're going to find similar products to this with just different names. So since it is already on here, let's go ahead and close it for now. Let's add device. And so when you go into this screen, you have to go here on the left side where it says locks. Let's see if we can find it. It says camera and lock. Just click on there. Then you go here to where it says lock BLE. That means Bluetooth. So you click on there and then you enable the Bluetooth network distribution and then click next. And there we go. It says being added right now. It found the Yi lock and it has been successfully added. That's really cool. Now we click on done. And from here you get this big circle with the lock on it and it doesn't have any passcodes. It doesn't have any fingerprints right now, but if you hold there for a few seconds, then the lock will, um, unlock as you can see it comes with this little green light and it only lasts about maybe two three seconds and then it disengages i guess that's for security purposes so what we will do now is go ahead and set up here uh, on settings we're going to set up here on the upper left hand side corner you can see it says fingerprint management you click on there and now we're going to add fingerprints so you click on add you select the email of your account then you click on start capturing and it says connecting there we go and now we simply start capturing and as you guys can tell here from the screen of my phone it is recording my fingerprint there we go and now you can enter a name i'm going to call it j and we click on done now of course we test it after clicking on done and you can see that it is in fact working very cool now we can add another one so i'm going to do now my right thumb and it says connecting again and we repeat the same process once more check this out there we go and we put the name maybe we can put j2 on there and now every time i unlock it it'll say the name of that uh, fingerprint that you recorded it'll say the name on the history in which we're going to check out here in just a second so now that we got the fingerprint out of the way the next one you can set up here is passcode you again select the email and it has to be minimum six digits so we're going to try uh let's see here no we don't want to generate a random one let's say one two three four five six for now let's select okay and we enter a name so let's say j once more it cannot be the same okay so let's try uh let's try something different let's do maybe um i don't know let's try uh this one is hard so four five six and then one two three let's try that let's call it j so there we go guys so now if we enter that passcode four five six one two three and then click the numeric number there we go now we can use the passcode you can also add other users by clicking on the upper right hand side corner that little plus icon you can add other people as well just select the account and that's pretty much all you have to do you can set up here one-time passwords for special entries if that's what you wish to do you have periodic uh, passwords so this is um you know in case people will use the same passcode several times before it expires this is good for like i don't know airbnb rentals and and whatnot that will be a useful feature and the list goes on here guys again very easy to use type of application here uh, of course like I said before we have the uh, history uh, you can also obtain dynamic passcodes on here okay which will expire after five minutes that's the same similar to what we saw already uh, on settings so right here let's say I enter this passcode on here and it's two zero seven two two seven three seven pound you can see that it does work okay so that's pretty pretty neat guys uh, let's go ahead and go back here into settings then we have scenes let's see here let's close it up so we have scenes create a scene you have many different options you have uh, tap to run let's see what this is create a task and tap it to run 
This enables easy control of your smart devices. I'm pretty sure that's in case you have multiple devices. And you can hook this up to other uh, smart, uh, home smart uh, apps. Like you can hook this up if you have the Tuya uh, Wi-Fi uh, gateway, as I mentioned before. You can have it connected to where the Bluetooth is connected to the Tuya device, and then this will get connected to the Wi-Fi, and that's how you can control it pretty much anywhere you go around the world, which is something I'm looking forward to get. Uh, then you have uh, home management. Okay, you can change again a whole bunch of things on there. You have message center. It says here what we, uh, the history of what we have done here with this uh, device. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm trying to look now for the history. So we have devices unlocking record. This is what I'm looking for. And right here, you guys can see that it'll say uh, what you have done and who has done it with times as well. Okay, so that's really, really cool. Uh, that way you know who's been inside of that particular room and whatnot. So everything else is like just like what we have seen on other smart doors in terms of features and the things that you can do within the app. And if you guys ask me, I think it's pretty cool. Now, as per the longevity of this door lock, well, I can't speak for that right now. What I can tell you is that this smart door lock feels very heavy and it feels very well built it doesn't feel like it's flimsy like the knobs are very nice and sturdy as you guys can observe i mean they don't feel like they're just being put there and that you can yank them very easily that's not the case guys as a matter of fact this feels a lot better built than the current door lock that i have in terms of materials and the weight and it's just an overall uh, super rugged device now here's something that i want to show you guys that's going to be the key usage and the little micro usb cable that came with it which is this right here if you plug it on the bottom side you can give it uh, extra power if that's what you need temporarily so that you can unlock it let's see am i doing something incorrectly there we go so you simply plug it in towards the bottom plug in a battery pack and then you can have it unlocked that way uh, the other method as I said, is that we have the key. This is going to be your best bet if you run out of power. So basically, you put the key underneath, then you flick it and check that out. You have unlimited access, okay, to opening your door. Then you twist it again, remove the key. And the cool part is that, well, first I was a little confused because I didn't see any uh, locking mechanism for the interior. That's because the interior will always open the door no matter what. It is only the outside part that doesn't engage unless you enter your fingerprint like I am doing right now there we go now you can see that it has been engaged and it's only for about three seconds or so and then it disengages again for security purposes so there we have it guys uh, this has completed now the unboxing the installation and the semi review of this door lock I can provide a future video within I don't know the next six months up to a year if you guys wish me to do that I can do that for you but I can tell you that right now for this price $125 and there's a coupon available down below make sure that you guys check it out along with the link and yes yeah, so this is quite affordable uh, I've seen similar items at a much higher price this one seems to be promising now the only part is that i wish that it had a rechargeable battery having four AA batteries requires you to change them periodically but yes i will have to test it and see how well it does over time with this being said guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe for more click on that bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this and i'll see you on my next one